Hey everybody. So <clears throat> I did my um, past life meditation again, and before before I forget anything, I want to video this and um, just give you an update on what happened. This time, <clears throat> when I um, when I did the meditation, I had this amethyst, and I held it the entire time. Um, so, one thing I didn't get accurate in the last meditation was that the name I thought it was. Uh, Micah, or not Micah, but uh, Mia, I'm sorry. Uh, but actually, it was Michaela. Um, and it wasn't me. Uh, that was not my name. Um, Michaela was my 15 year old daughter. And my name was Catherine. And I was married to a man named Marcus. Um, when the meditation asks you to look down, and what do you see? Um, I was wearing white, like flats. Um, and I was standing on cobblestone. Um, I had a long... Um, like dress it wasn't flowing or anything it was just you know a, a dress that had like a um, brownish belt with a buckle and my shirt kind of crisscrossed and it was a little low um and my hair was pulled back um up pinned um and it was a very dark almost black color if not black my eyes were a green color because um, it asked you you know to step out into a third person and look and see what you look like um, so what I got to see was I'm standing on a cobblestone street in front of my home um, where I'm standing in front of me, it kind of goes down a little bit. There's scattered buildings and houses, um, but you can clearly see the ocean or bay body of water in front of me. Um, to my left, the street either ends or it turns sharply, I'm not sure which, but back behind me, the, the it's a hill that goes up into a grassy area, like field, and then beyond that is some trees. And like I said, directly behind me is my home, which is a um, like Victorian, I guess, style home, almost. Um, it was like completely flat. There was like a recessed porch. The porch was trimmed out in white, and it had stone steps up. You walk up onto the porch and then into the home. Um, the home was yellow. Um, it was wood, but it was it was very nice home. It was very, very nice. Um, so when he says, the, when you're in meditation and he says, you're free to move around, is anybody else with you? Um, I'm a, you know, I, I went directly into the house. Um, I opened open the door and there's a staircase that went up on my right and a beautiful banister that curved down like out toward me. Beautiful hardwood floors. Um, the walls were an, like a, they were yellow but they were a very pale yellow. Um, 
if you went down the hall, directly at the end of the hall was a kitchen. And then off to it was a dining room. Um, and we seem like a happy family. Um, everything just seemed great. Um, you know, you walk in, you smell food cooking, you know, everybody laughing and playing with each other and everything seemed great. And then the next thing I remember is I'm standing back out on the stoop and this girl comes up to me and she says, Miss Catherine, Ma sick, can you come? And so I went and this lady was laying on her sofa, like a Victorian sofa. And I remember telling the, the young girl, the woman, um, well, she was a young woman, to give her mama foxtail. I don't know what that is. So if somebody wants, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know. So if somebody knows, please leave it in the comments. But foxtail. And I was leaving the house and I was supposed to meet up with my daughter, Michaela. And we were going to go um, gather herbs in the woods, in the, in the field area. Um, and uh, before I get into this, I'm not sure if I said anything about, um, I was, the reason I thought the young girl, woman in my last meditation was Native American was because she was, um, or at least partly. Um, I was N Native American and half uh, English. Uh, I grew up on an re Indian reservation with my mother. Um, I don't know where what happened to my father or, or anything. I didn't get anything from that, but. So, my daughter, of course, would have been partly Indian. And I'm believing that too I saw in my last meditation was my daughter, not me. So, she runs ahead of me and, um, and we're going to go forge for, you know, herbs and stuff. And I'm going up that hill. And I hear a gunshot. And my heart sunk because she just went up there. And so I dropped my basket and I run up this hill. And sure enough, my daughter's laying in a puddle of blood a hole in her chest and there is a soldier standing there above her in a gray uniform and all I remember is asking why and he looks at me with like such disdain and hate and she, he's like cause she's seen me and I, I was she seen you and there was another soldier I don't know how many I just remember that there was two I never seen the, the the second one though but the second one came around and he bounded my hands and they drug me off into the woods and he comes up to me on my backs against a tree trunk and he sees my necklace and he rips my necklace off and he holds it up to his friends and says, see, they're still among us. Where he then 
proceeds to beat me multiple, multiple times. And in the end, they wind up hanging me. Then it goes back to kind of like a third person. And my husband finds me. And he's leaning over my body. And he tells me, I promise you, your line will not end here. And I see a baby, a baby girl. I don't know her name, but I knew she was my daughter. I knew she was my daughter. And for some reason, him hearing that your line will not end here gave me peace. So I don't know what that means. But this video is because I want you guys to know what I'm experiencing during these meditations. Yes, the last meditation scared the hell out of me. But I had questions. This time, I wasn't scared. This time, I didn't feel death. I didn't feel like I couldn't breathe. I didn't, f I remembered. You know, that last one, I didn't remember a whole lot. But this time, I did get to remember. Um, so, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't scared. I'm not scared now. I woke up and there was tears coming down my face. I was upset, but it was ups it was because I was upset that I seen my daughter in that lifetime die laying there in front of me and there was nothing I could do. And that's a lot of why I don't have a daughter now. It's why I don't have kids now. I mean, I have stepchildren, but I don't have no kids of my own. And it's because I don't feel like I'm adequate enough to take care of a kid. I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if that's something that I need to work, work through, you know. I've always had a feeling that I wouldn't be able to protect a child. And I think that has a lot to do with, with maybe this past life that I wasn't able to protect her. I don't know. And maybe this is why when me and my, my life now, my current, you know, my, my husband now, <clears throat> why when we got married, and we went to Massachusetts and we went to the Salem area. Maybe that's why I, I felt home because I was home. Now Salem Village back then was not Salem that we have now. Um, <clears throat> Salem Village was actually or Salem Village is actually where Danvers, Massachusetts is currently. <clears throat> but, and we never did go to Danvers. Um, and when we went on our honeymoon. Um, but we did go to Salem and some of the surrounding little areas. But we never did make it to Danvers. But I still felt home. I still felt like I could be me that a weight had lifted. And I don't really know if I'm making sense, but 
maybe it was because I was home in a sense. A part of me still was like, you are home. <clears throat> I don't know. But that's my story. That's what happened. And I'm still playing with this, the same with this. And if anybody's on that fence of, should I do it? Should I not do it? I don't want to, you know, I don't want to experience something that, that I, I won't like in this lifetime. My suggestion would be to do it. Just do it. It could be painful. It could be happy. There's so many things that it could be, but you're never gonna know unless you try. I was scared to death to do this one again. The simple fact that the last meditation I did was very hard. Um, I really did feel like I was dying. But I honestly don't think what I felt was, was me dying. What I think I felt was the realization that my child had died. I think that's what that was. I don't think it was me actually dying. I think, and maybe at that point, a part of me did die, but it wasn't a physical death, if that makes sense. <clears throat> so anyways, guys, that's my story. That's, my meditation and I'm still trying to process everything so I just want to say thank you guys for watching thank you to all the new subscribers and the old ones <laughs> and blessed be everybody thanks guys for listening <laughs>